Hello, Earth citizens. In this video, I'll share with you a tip on how to alleviate acid reflux. Now, this routine is going to be different from the other routines because the other ones, it was a series of different exercises. But for acid reflux, there's one posture that we're going to hold that aligns back together whatever is misaligned, especially in your stomach. So there are two ways to open the body. One way is to do active movement to try to get the blockages out. Another way is more of a yin style where you hold a posture and just by holding a posture, it helps your body reset and realign itself without you actively moving it. So we're gonna experience that today. So this posture that we're going to do is I'll explain a little bit more in detail when we actually do it, but I want to explain the principle behind it first so you understand what you're doing. So it's going to be a posture that looks like this. So when you do this, what happens is you create space in your rib cage that causes the acid reflux. Acid reflux is caused by a compression, things not circulating in here, not enough room for that acid to go down in your body. So we need to create the space, go against gravity, so your stomach can breathe, so your liver can breathe, so your organs can breathe. So by doing this posture, you create that space. And it's gonna be pretty tricky to try to hold it for 10 minutes straight, but I promise you, if you stick through it, you're gonna see a huge relief and difference, especially in this area. If you get heartburn, acid reflux, stuffiness in your chest, tight, bulge right here in your stomach this posture is for you are you ready are you excited please stick through it with me until the end it's difficult it's gonna be challenging on your body physically and emotionally but don't give up stick through it until the end and you'll see the benefits see the result all right so place your feet shoulder width apart your toes pointed slightly outward, not too much, slightly outward. First, you're going to bend your knees. So we're gonna get into a horse riding posture first. This is very important to bring your energy down. From here, bring your palms facing up, like you're holding up a jug of water. Here, notice how my elbows are slightly bent, so they're not totally straight slightly bent and then lastly try to push from your middle back out a little bit so you're pushing this area out a little so you're not slouched you're pushing it out giving it a little bit more space so from the side it looks like this notice how i'm not like this out chin down looking straight like that we're going to hold this posture for 10 minutes. Are you ready? Let's begin. The key here is to try to breathe deeply into your abdomen. And even with your hands, try to find that sweet spot where it's the energy holding up your body, not your own physical power trying to hold up your body. There's a spot that clicks. Try to find that spot. If it helps you focus, which I definitely recommend you doing now is close your eyes and just listen to the sound of my voice. There's no need to see what I'm doing because I'm holding the same posture as you. Hold that pose, feel your body. Bring your mind into your body, breathe deeply into your abdomen. Relax your shoulders, relax your elbows, relax your hip joints. If you're clenching your butt cheeks, relax your butt cheeks.
is as straight as a strong tree. Your legs are like strong roots going deep into the ground, holding you up straight. Your arms are like strong branches standing against gravity, mighty and strong in the sky. From your head down to your tailbone is the strong trunk of this mighty tree. Feel yourself standing, grounded, firm, and powerful like a strong tree. As you breathe deeply into your abdomen, more and more of your body weight go down into your waist and hips. Eventually down all the way to the floor. Even though you are not moving your body, even in this simple posture, when you really focus on the sensation inside, you will start to feel sweat. You will start to feel strong energy circulating in your body. Notice any shaking, any heat, any emotions, any pains that are coming up to the surface now. These are all trapped energies that you've been holding inside, coming up, purifying and releasing from within. You're almost there. Notice where you feel pain. Where do you feel the most pain? The place you feel the most pain is the place where you are most blocked. Keep breathing deeply into your abdomen. Focused on holding this posture until the end. One more minute. Thirty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now slowly, slowly, slowly bring your arms down. Slowly, slowly, slowly. <sighs> bring your feet together. And let's do a stretch. Clasp your hands, stretch up to the side, other side, and back down. Shake your shoulders lightly. <sighs> 
Shake your shoulders, shake your legs too. If you have some pain in your legs, shake your shoulders and legs. And stop, palms face up, deep breath in. Exhale, palm down. Inhale, palm up. Bringing in fresh oxygen to your body. Exhale, breathe out the stress. Last time, inhale, palm up. Exhale, palm down. Place your arms by your side. Close your eyes. Feel your body. What do you feel in your body now? Do you feel some tingling? Heat? Magnetism? Maybe some coldness? Do you feel a sense of relief? And most importantly, when you focus your mind in your diaphragm zone, do you feel a slight sense of opening starting to happen? Open your eyes. If you can feel this slight sense of opening, you did a great job. If you feel like there's still more you can work on, do this posture every day. I did this posture when I had some blockage here, some stuffy energy here. I did this posture every day for a week and I felt so much relief from this area that it opened my chest, it opened my abdomen and it made me feel like a sense of energy went and it felt really great. You did a great job today. To experience a full one hour brain education based class, please visit a local body and brain yoga studio near you.